Hello everyone! So today I'm starting to work on the horizontal stabilizer, finally. Yeah, well, that's happening. Actually, the story about my rudder is quite simple. I was able to assemble the rudder itself, but because, as I said in my previous video, uh, because of the Canadian regulations for the inspection, I'm not allowed to close everything. So I have to follow the rules and I have to leave uh, one skin open on my rudder. So what I did, I just click at everything. I was not able to demonstrate you the um, use of the tank sealer, sealer and uh, how it should be applied to the trailing edge. But well, hope I'm gonna do that later. I don't know, maybe in a year or in two when I'm ready to proceed with the inspection and after inspection I will be doing that. But for now my rudder is technically ready, so I maybe need to invest another um, I don't know, maybe five hours, maybe ten hours in it, and that's gonna be all complete, maybe even less, maybe yeah, maybe around five hours. But for now, I'm starting to work on the horizontal stab. And uh, well, again, it's the same, same steps we go. So we're basically preparing the parts. Well, I already picked all the parts I will need for the whole horizontal stab. Now I have to prepare all surfaces of the parts, deburr holes, deburr edges, remove all uh, sharp edges. After that is going to be again much drilling on the holes and after that I'll start to click off. And what I notice in the Vance instructions for the horizontal stab is that now they separating the well first of all they give less and less instructions which is quite good like the 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 they feel that you should be a professional, more profession, more, more professional on what you do. So basically now they just give you a directions like prepare surface, deburr holes and uh, like put a primer, prime it if required and uh, after that rivet it. So it's like the instructions looks shorter but it doesn't make them uh, those like steps they look shorter now less description but it doesn't make them that you will go faster through them right so it will still take you the same amount of time or even more because the surface of the horizontal stab is I would say like triple of the surface of the rudder well and the second part is that now I found that they don't want you to prime everything at the end I mean they never want you to prime right it's option but now they offer you option they, 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 the instructions uh, tell you that okay go with this part prepare it deburr match drill holes after that put all required rivets and a prime of course if you want and after that switch to another part so before what I did was I prepared all parts I prime, prime, prime them at once and after that I start assembly now it's a little different but I'll see how to go around it in order to prime again everything at once because my I prefer to prime everything at once since I don't have a right setup for priming so I have to do it every time like the whole complete setup for priming well anyway aside of that I'm starting to work on my um, on my uh, horizontal stabilizer let's see what's going to be happening and uh, well I'm uh, probably not going to give too many comments because it's all common tasks but at least I, I want to video and uh, picture everything where I do so now let's watch how I'm gonna be doing that
I have faced is actually that those rivets, 1.8 size, cannot be installed using this pneumatic squeezer tool. I was actually surprised to find out that this pneumatic squeezer tool doesn't actually squeeze those 1.8 rivets which are used for the uh, assembly of the um, horizontal stabilizer. Hmm, that's really strange. I mean, it's not probably powerful enough. I have about 105 PSI pressure in my compressor and just basically does nothing. So I will I will read about it more just to real to understand why that, but for now, well, I'm using a classic rivet gun which works perfectly for all type of rivets and uh, well yeah so far I'm moving forward slowly but surely and now installing my rivets for the um, for the spar and for the uh, for the um, like for the spar and for the atta attached uh, parts to the spar and yeah uh, probably this squeezer would make uh, work nicer I'm not saying quicker but probably the old rivets will be nicer and the shop heads will be all of the same size but well not a big deal I mean we just without a squeezer way anyway we all use a rivet guns right so it's totally fine but I want to figure it out why for this uh, squeezer this size of the rivet is no go probably there is another model of the squeezer which is more powerful I don't know I have to check that anyway let's continue to work I was wrong and actually the pneumatic squeezer works on those large rivets. Well the trick was the pressure in the compressor. Actually my compressor is a it's a well standard Mastercraft with a maximum pressure of 125 psi. Because I uh, in the past I added additional receiver uh, which is in the corner you probably remember that saga from first uh, my 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 first movies about the um, airplane build. Uh, that receiver of the other compressor, which I used for extra receiver, is uh, rated for 105 psi max. There was a red line on that. So because of that, I limited my maximum pressure in the Mastercraft to 100 psi, just to stay safe, right? And actually, initially I was supplying a squeezer with just 100 psi. Well, maybe less, maybe 95. But what actually happened is 100 psi was not enough for this squeezer to squeeze the rivet, which was, <clears throat> well, I was surprised. I thought like, what's happening? Why is that? I start to check the squeezer. I start to Google. I start to check the um, internal parts here and while I was bef behind those videos. But all what solved my problem was I just disconnected temporarily the other receiver and I just put my pressure on max, so 125. That's it, squeezer works. It squeezes all sort of uh, rivets, including the bigger ones. So I'm happy everything is fine and uh, I'm continuing to work on my project.
that's it for today. As you can see, this spar, well, it takes its shape and it becomes more or less looks like the airplane part. As you can see, I added the hinges, I prepared the part, I um, riveted as per instructions the uh, structural parts to it. So basically, it took me a whole day to work, but because lots of steps and each step has to be done well and properly. So there is no rush here. It's most important to make everything correctly. Those two green tapes, I just protected the holes which shouldn't be drilled, shouldn't be riveted as per instructions. I will remove them later on. And my uh, plan for the next uh, steps is to continue with the horizontal stabilizer. We're going to be doing some uh, aluminum cutting on the machine and making uh, shapes for the parts, for the angles. Well, you see everything in the, my next video. For now, have a nice day and uh, stay tuned. Subscribe, send me your questions, I'll be happy to answer. Take care and bye until next video.